This lesson will show how to determine a data value of a normal distribution that corresponds to a given probability using Desmos.com. A class is given an exam, the distribution of the scores is normal. The mean score is 78 and the standard deviation is 9, which means you know mu is equal to 78 and sigma is equal to 9. We're asked to determine the test score C such that the probability of a student having a test score greater than C is 20% which means we're trying to find the value of C such that the probability that X is greater than C is equal to 0.2. We're told to round to the hundredths place value. So looking at the graph of the distribution on the right, the value of C might be approximately here, where because the probability that X is greater than C is equal to 0.2, the area under the curve to the right of C is equal to 0.2, which means the area to the left of C is equal to 1 minus 0.2 or 0.8. To use Desmos to determine the value of C, we do need the area to the left of C. And we'll be using the Desmos command shown here at the bottom of the screen to determine the value of C. So to begin, let's go to desmos.com, click graphing calculator, click show keypad, click functions, click the distributions menu, click normal distribution. Now we enter the mean comma the standard deviation, and therefore we enter 78 comma 9, close parenthesis, period. Go back to functions, and now click inverse CDF. This is where we enter the area to the left, which is 0.8. And the value of C shows below, which is approximately 85.57. Let's verify this graphically. Let's click in cell 2. Next, we'll graph the normal distribution curve. Click functions, click normal distribution, Again, enter the mean of 78, comma, standard deviation of 9, close parenthesis. Next, click Zoom Fit, which is the magnifying glass here on the left. Then click the box, Find Cumulative Probability. Let's verify the area to the right of the test score is approximately 0.2. To do this, let's change the minimum to the test score of 85.57, leave the max at infinity, and notice how the area to the right, which is also shaded on the graph, is almost exactly 0.2. If we want to see the exact test score on the distribution, we can click in cell 3 and type in x equals approximately 85.57. Close the keypad, and we can see where that test score would be on the distribution. Let's go ahead and record this value of c and take a look at the second part. We're asked to determine the test score C, such that the probability of a student having a score less than C is 35%, which means we're looking for the value of C such that the probability that X is less than C is equal to 0.35. So again, looking at the distribution, the test score C we're looking for might be approximately here, where because the probability that X is less than C is equal to 0.35, the area to the left of C is equal to 0.35, the area to the right is equal to 1 minus 0.35 or 0.65. So to determine the value of C, again, we need the area to the left of C, which is 0.35. So going back to Desmos, we go back up to cell 1 and change 0.8 to 0.35, and the value of C shows below, which is approximately 74.53. Let's verify the area to the left of this test score is approximately 0.35 by going to cell 2, let's clear the minimum and then tab over to the max. When we clear the minimum, it goes back to the default at negative infinity. Let's enter a max test score of 74.53, which is the value of C. And notice how the area to the left is almost exactly 0.35. To see the test score on the distribution, we can go to cell 3 and type in x equals 74.53 showing exactly where that test score is in the distribution. Let's go ahead and record this value of C. I hope you found this helpful.